The Magellano 43 is the smallest of Azimut's range of trawler yachts, but it manages to pack an awful lot of space into its 44-foot length. There's no less than three cabins in here and plenty of indoor and outdoor space. There are nice wide side decks on both sides of the boat, and everywhere you look there are plenty of handholds both inside and outside the boat. The main deck is an open plan layout with a dinette to port and an aft galley that's perfect for serving people inside the boat as well as outside in the cockpit. There's plenty of worktop space for preparing your food, a good sized hob and a proper oven for cooking. The dinette has a fold over table and this neat little stool that pulls out to create an extra seat. The helm enjoys its own sliding window to encourage a flow of air through the boat and make communication with the foredeck easier. All the instrumentation is electronic. Down below, the main cabin is forward and enjoys these elongated ports, again with opening window sections to encourage a flow of air. The bed is widest around the shoulder area just where you need it and comes with classy little reading lights and a mirror above the bed head to increase the feeling of light and space. The ensuite bathroom isn't huge and has a little more exposed gel coat than elsewhere in the boat, but it's still full of nice touches like this designer wash basin and stainless steel tap. Crucially, it also has a proper walk-in shower compartment rather than a circular enclosure. The main guest cabin is a good sized twin, but can make up to a double if needed. The third cabin is just a single bunk and is really meant to be used as much for storage as it is for occasional overnighting. The second heads compartment is shared by both guest cabins and of course makes a good day heads as well. The flybridge is equipped with everything you need, whether it's for driving the boat or just enjoying the sunshine around this dinette. The stylish radar mast provides a certain amount of shade up on the flybridge and also conceals a wet bar behind it. The outside helm station is very neatly laid out with the wheel just in the right place to access the throttles and all the instrumentation you'd need to drive the boat safely. There's even this neat little sunbathing area up on the foredeck. <laughs>